Now when we got off the plane, we straight away... Oh, the plane is going to Washington next. Uh, we straight away got into the public area. Uh, sorry, the restricted area. Uh, so they mix the two. Inbound, outbound, like Singapore, Changi, like that. Changi, one, two, three. So we're going to look for transfer soon. Bye. And good morning, we just flew in from Las Vegas. Walked over from terminal, didn't have to go through security, wonderful, and now I'm headed to the United Polaris Lounge. Yes, yeah, my second time in the Polaris. Let's see whether uh, I can get in with my uh, pass. And we are in to the United Polaris. Say, voted the best in the world. Some say. Looking to be a beautiful space in the morning. We are around 8 a.m. and let me pause here just to take a look at what the space at the Polaris Lounge looks like. There is a tended bar over there, which you can. It's a time to get some drinks if you want for the morning. But I wanted to go to get some breakfast. Let's go. Well, this uh, Polaris Lounge is interesting because it has a seated uh, dining area, but usually it's crowded. But let's see whether I can get a seat today, yeah? Let's see. So, right here. And waiting for a seat. It says, please wait to be seated. Breakfast time. Wonderful place, this seated breakfast is awesome. Seated comfortably in the United Polaris SFO. Now it's time to choose my breakfast. What would I get today? Breakfast, breakfast, coffee. The vegetarian porridge was very tasty. The porridge was warm and vegetarian and surprisingly very flavorful. The breakfast sandwich was also very nice, which I ate, and I got a mimosa, which was mm, a little bit of a. <laughs> anyway, the fruits, the fruits, that was pretty good too. Yes, now let's take a look. They have juices and all that, so what I wanted to show you first is the food. So let's go a bit more slowly this time. Bagels, breads, some type of jams, hot boiled eggs, cold cuts. And this is called a yogurt bar. Here is yogurts. And of course, a fruit bar. Here is fruit, and this one was the mixed berries are very nice. And uh, of course, mini pastries. Yes, very cool, isn't it? And if we uh, walk over to that side where you will see uh, more hot cooked food, well, the good thing is they got a toaster. I didn't notice this last time. And then, when you walk over to the other side, let me start from the far end since it's busy. Bacon, is it a bit dark? Bacon, sausage, and impossible breakfast sausage. Scrambled eggs, scrambled egg whites, and we kind of red egg thing. Fried potatoes, black beans, pancakes, and porridge. Yes. Yeah, so that's it. The food uh, availability at the United Polaris Lounge together with the uh, very nice uh, restaurant seated one. Bye bye. And you can see that the lounge is pretty crowded with many people working before the flight, which is just what I did just now in the, uh, the other side, the lounge too. Yes, let's go. And on this side with the bar, we shall uh, we'll come get a few drinks later on. Uh, later, 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 yeah. Okay, where's it going? Yeah. I wanted to show you another interesting area on the other side of this floor where uh, there's a quieter. So, if you want a quiet space to work and you're done with the food, what you can do is shift yourself to the other side of the lounge. Okay? Yes, shift yourself. Because generally, few people come over here because there's less food here although I know they put out some drinks and snacks as well yeah so you see this entire low of tables nobody right and this is here is also where there is the restrooms 
and you do get wonderful views when you park yourself here like this and if you walk further somehow you will reach right on the other side where there's even fewer even less crowded and that's where they put uh, some additional uh, I think cold food stuff that's why I wanted to come over to see what exactly do they put here you can see there's absolutely nobody here so this is a great place if you just want to hide away from the rest of the people only problem is there isn't much except uh, flavored water and some kind of jelly beans okay okay what did the Russian